Hey everybody, how's it going? In today's video I'm gonna show you how to fix common startup errors on your Xbox Series S and X. And by the way, the same applies for Xbox One X as well. These errors usually mean that your SSD has corrupted partitions or system files. The solution is usually as simple as doing a hard reset or clean installation of offline system updates. To get started, you'll need a USB drive with at least 8 gigs of space and a computer running Windows. So let's get started. First, we need to download offline system updates. Open the Xbox support page, the link in the description, and simply follow these instructions. First of all, we need to download OC1 update. It's a 6GB file, and as I said before, you'll need a flash drive that's at least 8GB. And you need to format the drive into NTFS file system. After the download is complete, go to your downloads folder and extract the files from the archive. Open the OC1 folder and copy the system update folder to the root directory of your flash drive. Now we can safely remove the drive. Let's turn on the console. If your console has a major issue, it will take you straight to the startup troubleshooter, just like in my case. But if your console boots normally and you just want to perform a hard reset or clean install, then you'll have to manually boot into the troubleshooting mode. Before you begin, make sure that your console has the latest updates installed. Also, if you've participated in Xbox Insider program, you'll need to unenroll and wait for a new system update before continuing with this process. With the console turned off, press and hold the pair and eject buttons, and then press the power button. Continue holding the pair and eject buttons until you see the troubleshooter screen. Once the troubleshooter screen appears, use the D pad and A button to select troubleshoot. Firstly, I recommend resetting your console to factory defaults. You have two options here. Keep games and apps and remove everything. If the error is still there, then you gotta do a clean install of the system updates. And sort your flash drive into any available USB port. And as you can see, the offline system update option became active. Select it and press the A button to start the update, which should take about 5 minutes. And that's it. Just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup process. Select your preferred language, location, your network, and sign in to your Microsoft account. Then go ahead and install your games. Your game saves should automatically sync with your Xbox account, so you won't lose any progress. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.